Hello everyone, Eleanor here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are using a lot of viral products and I'm going to give you guys an honest review on these products because I feel like sometimes things fly around and I'm like, are they good? Are they not good? You don't want to waste your money on something and it turns out to be actual poo because that is the worst thing ever. So let's jump straight. So a lot of these products I've actually already used, but I wanted to do this for you guys so that you can see what I think. And if anyone has any other products they want me to do this with, then please let me know. So we're starting off with primer. I've actually brought two. I kind of picked these by what I know people talk about, but then I also typed in on TikTok well, primers or I just typed in primers to see what actually came up. And obviously these two came up a lot. Very, very, very similar, similar products. One of them is Spenny. One of them is not so spenny. This is the Beauty Cop We Should Be Gripping Primer and this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really, really like both of these. As you can see, this is actually my second one of these and I, I couldn't tell you how many of these I've gone through. I am a little bit ill as well. Um, hence why I'm in my pyjamas <laughs> with my hair shoved up. These are my new favourite things in the world. I'm in my pyjamas. I'm doing this glam for you guys, um, but I'm not very well. I've come down with some sort of colds. It's not the most ideal, but we're doing it for you. I'm in the most balls that we could possibly be in as well. Even my clip. Even my clip is a ball. Vibes. Anyway, <laughs> what was I talking about? I do really, really like both of these. They're very, very similar. I couldn't actually tell you which one of these I prefer. I like them both. Sometimes I, grab, sometimes I have periods of time where I'm gravitating towards this loads. And then sometimes I have periods of time where I'm gravitating towards this loads. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. Obviously, this is more expensive. But obviously, you do get a lot more product in this. So you get 45 milliliters of product in the Milk Hydro Grip. And then you get 20 milliliters in the We Shree. So obviously you're getting almost double the amount of product in here. So obviously do weigh up the price with that. I just feel like with these, if you want to buy something a little bit more expensive and you want to like splurge on something like milk that feels a little bit more luxe, then you're not wasting your money by doing this. But also if you equally can't do that or you don't want to do that, then you can just grab the We Shree. Um, just personal preference. So I'm just going to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip today. I think this one is a little bit thicker in terms of like how it feels on the skin. But also feel like a misconception sometimes with these two products is some people use too much. And by using too much, it won't get sticky. And also you do need to let it set before you go in and try and see if it's sticky or not. Because if I try to put foundation on now, it's still, it's still like wet it's not sticky and they do need to give this a couple of minutes and i think that you need to wait longer for this one than you do for the the computer cop one and i would say that's because that one's thicker than that one. Oh my god i just heard a noise downstairs hello that's just gonna laugh at me it feels sticky so if i try and it's sticky okay <laughs> the next product that i've got which is a very very viral product and i've spoken about this many times this is the Drunk Elephant Bronze and Drops, made extremely famous by Alex Earl. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> but I don't think this is worth the money. I think if you was to want if you wanted a bronzing drop and you was spending the I think it's like £35 on this tiny, tiny little thing, which has got 30 mil of product in it then I would be disappointed. I do think you're wasting your money. <laughs> when this arrived, when I ordered it and it was that small, I was, was my reaction. Because these are just so expensive for what they are. And I genuinely don't think they are good. Just think the patchy. I think they go on so patchy. Just don't think that this is a nice product. There are other products now been brought up as I guess dupes of these because I do think that they were the first kind of product like that. I just think they're way better. Like, I don't think that this looks nice. Like, there's only one shade, which is not good enough, really, anyway. I know it is a bronzing drop, so it doesn't need, like, you know, as many shades as a foundation or a skin tint. It's just patchy. So these, for me, that's what I think of them. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> after the bashing, we've got a next. We've got a cult long-term favourite. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I know everyone has probably used this at some point and it is such a great foundation so i thought i would do this today i actually couldn't find a foundation that is like viral at the minute that's not one that i've just used in a video i wanted to use something a little bit different and let's cover over that awful awful drunk elephant bronzing drop like i love the glow that the drunk elephant bronzing drop gives but why does it just make my face look like that Anyway, so much bashing on the Drunk Elephant Bronzer Drops. So my normal blending brush and just tap this into the skin. I really like this because it really is natural. It really is 
super lightweight and it just has such a gorgeous like natural glow finish to it so this isn't like a wet glow which we all know i do really really like that but that's why this is such a universal loved product because if you have oily skin and you prefer something to be a little bit more matte this has like a natural glow to it but also if you have like more dry skin and you love something a little bit more glowy this does still have a glow to it and you can very much keep that glow it just blends into the skin it's so smooth so effortless and it's just she's just gorgeous 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 obviously more on the pricey side but i definitely do think they are worth it if you like to spend a little bit more on a foundation maybe it'd be like your special occasion foundation like when it's like your birthday or you're going on like for a nice meal and stuff and you just want to use something a little bit different to like your regular smegular everyday foundation because i know that not everybody wants to spend that much on foundation that they're going to use every day but it's not just so gorgeous and obviously there's loads of shades in this as well gorgeous just giving skin okay and then next up i have another little tiktok shop on this is the made by mitchell curve case and guesses as to what i'm going to say about this before i say it because <laughs> i feel like it's so obvious as to my feelings towards this this is such an incredible product this does come in five different shades you know that there is a lot of people on the paler side that doesn't like the lightest one because the colors in it are quite green so there is that on that side with the lighter one so um if you are of a lighter skin tone and you wanted to try that one then please have a look at some people that have done reviews on that before you actually purchase it but i know on the other spectrum there's a lot of people is it called dark and darker darker i think they're called dark and darker um that do really really like them one so just have make sure you're just aware of that if you are looking at it but this is super creamy it blends out so nice and these are always on offer on tiktok as well like you don't need to pay 30 pound for this full palette you can definitely get this i think they're on for 15 at the minute like they're always on offer um, and if you are wanting to get these in store obviously made by mitchell is in boots now as well so you could definitely go and have a look to see what shade you would be the shade what i'm using is the medium one you also have the light one as well and i like that one for the blushes that are in there as well as having the bronzes they also do have blushes in there so for 30 pound for obviously whatever of this you would use I actually do think it's worth it because you would pay £30 alone sometimes. You might pay £30 for a blusher and a, and a blusher and a bronzer and you're only getting one of each. So I do think that this is worth it. So that is that all blended out. She is fabulous. And next up for concealer, I actually find this one a little bit difficult to find one that's viral because I feel like a lot of the concealers become quite viral and then people just switch around which is definitely something that i do i'm obviously loving the maybelline age rewind which i feel like would be classed as a viral concealer but anyway i went with something a little bit different i went with my coarse ass concealer love this concealer love of love i actually do find with a lot of viral products that they are actually really good i think they just all have specific ways that they need to be used and it's just sort of like figuring out how to work with the product which is what's difficult Anyways, this concealer is like literal butter. You can see how quickly that just blended in. Lightweight. If you struggle with concealer, like creasing or um, it's too heavy under the eye or anything like that, this concealer is gorgeous. I've just used the shade 2.5 C. You'll have seen this in last week's video. Sometimes I might put it on and straight away I'm like, oh, I don't really like it. And then once I've like worked with it or used it a few times, I can then figure out that actually I do like it. So I actually think that it's better for me to sit here and tell you about these products that I have used for a long time and I've used many times and I've given them different tries. Like I've used them drunk elephant drops so many different times and I've tried to love them and I just still don't. Powder. I'm going to go in with the bad boy. This is the Huda Beauty Loose Powder. One has heard and loved about this powder. I actually didn't try this for a very long time after it came out mainly because as you know i'm not i was never used to be a powder girl but then when i tried it i was like she is great original huda beauty powders come extremely scented now personally i love the scent i really like it but i don't have sensitive skin and i really like it i have a sensitive nose right now so it's probably gonna make me sneeze but i do really like the scent however they've brought out an unscented version i'm gonna use the fragrance free version today because that is gonna make me sneeze like there's no tomorrow and cake is the one i'm using obviously this comes in lots of different shades lightweight it's not drying it just sort of does the job that you want a powder to do which i find sometimes powders are trying to do too much these days just let it be just be a powder she's just gorgeous she really just does the job if you want to try this and you haven't tried it and you don't want to cave and buy the full thing to then decide you don't like it it does come in a little mini one as well which you can get from like boots and places okay and then next up i'm gonna do a bronzer before i go in with my cream blush because 
as we all know i'm cream blush over the top of powder or don't even bother so i'm got a powder this was actually quite difficult to pick because i don't really feel like bronzers tend to go viral i don't really feel like there's much hype around bronzers and the ones that i see people using a lot are, is benefit hula which obviously has been around for a long time or the mac mineralized skin finish I'm talking quite a lot recently about the mac mineralized skin finish so i didn't want to use that so i've gone got the benefit hula really feel like there's much to a bronzer i feel like it just does what it needs to do and then there's that's it do you know what i mean I feel like you can buy cheap bronzers and they're still nice as long as they have your shade I feel like Benefit Hula does have a less of a warm undertone. So if you do want a warm, bronzy sort of, you want to say more orangey makeup, then don't go for Benefit Hula because it isn't orangey. It's definitely more on the contoured cool side. It's like mixed in together. She's 30 pound. That is quite expensive. Oh no, Benefit Hula does come in shades. She comes in Benefit... Uh, Hula, Hula Light, Hula Caramel and Hula Toasted. Obviously, it is only for the model on um, on the website, so definitely could be darker. Do I think you need to run and get this, whereas I feel like that with some of the other products? No. But do I really like it? Yeah. If it was gifted, would I get rid of it? Absolutely not. I used it the other day and I did think it's nice to not have an orange bronzer every now and then. I'm also not really sure what quite the point of the brushes are that come with the benefit hula okay so bronze are done this is looking cute it's actually bad how much my brushes need cleaning the blusher we're going in with another tiktok shop kind of gal is the p louise cheek of it i'm using the shade lychee lady which i've never used this shade before if you haven't heard of these you must have been living under a rock but these are the from p louise they have a little squeezy tube at the bottom of them and then they have this sponge on the top so you can squeeze the product and it comes out of the sponge however you do waste a hell of a lot of product by doing that and i just find it messy and not the best so i've just popped a little bit on to a palette here and i'm just gonna whack it into the brush because these are pigmented pigmented obviously the shade range in these is insane you could probably find whatever shade you wanted in the shade range it's very good. Formula is good. I don't think it's the best thing ever, but the formula is good. If you like a pigmented blush, find that this is a lot better underneath powder than it is over the top of powder. I do find that it kind of pulls off a little bit and because it is more of like a wet formula, I find it hard to then blend the powder back between the blush. But if I'm being honest, I don't want to use something that can't go over the top of powder because I just think it's so much nicer. I think the finish is so much better. But if I was using these and I really wanted to buy them because they were P. Louise, then I would definitely use them underneath my powder. What I do like, I think they are a good product. I like that you can literally get whatever shade that you want in the world. Obviously, these are not expensive. You're not wasting your money if you really want to get them, but I don't think anyone needs to run and get them. Does that make sense? I do think that this is cute. It looks really, really nice. So don't think that I'm not saying this isn't great because it is. I just... I don't know. I just think there's things that are better, i.e. the milk blush. <laughs> it's hard because I can put everything to the milk blushes now and nothing has topped them for me. I was going to use the milk blushes in these because obviously that is a viral product. But I just thought you guys are sick of hearing me talk about the milk blusher because she's just so good. So for powder blush, I've actually never used this before. Ah. So this is a brand new viral product. So whether it will stay viral we're not so sure this is the brand new nyx butter melt blush i only have one shade and i'm not sure if this would be the shade that i would fully use this is the shade butter together <laughs> that's a really cute shade name it's just like a little pinky pinky blush i think it has a little bit of like a sparkle to it but not too much it's a different shade of like blush for me i think that this is more pigmented than it is glittery this specific shade i wish i had one of the really glittery ones because then i would be like <laughs> these are $8.99. I'm sure you'd be able to get these in some sort of deal. And they come in, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 different shades, ranging from pinky to orangey to purpley to a deeper pink and red. So the shade range looks on the face of it really, really nice. They claim to be 24 hour wear, fade and transfer resistant. Oh, that's a cold claim. I would a powder blusher be transfer proof. Put that to the test. Although I don't even know how you would how you would test that because it's 
definitely some on my tissue, so I'm not sure how we feel about that sort of claim. But this is really nice. Okay, next up we have, I got a setting mist. I got the Charlotte Tilbes Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. Slay. Um, this one claims to primes and sets for up to 16 hours instantly locks in your look and makeup with just that magic look no melting no fading no creases holds six to eight inches away your mist over your entire face before and after applying makeup so actually what you were meant to do with this which i feel like a lot of people don't realize with this setting mist is you're actually meant to apply it first then do your makeup and then apply it over the top so that the two layers are like sandwiched in the middle. That's actually what you're meant to do with this. Does the world know that you're meant to do that with it? No. Well, I use it over the top and it's still fine. I actually really, really like this. I love the scent in this. It's like a nice, like natural scent. So this is a le definitely a lot more pricey. And the Beauty Crop um, Emilia Olivia Glow Milk Mist, um, I believe, is very much the exact same thing of this if you want a cheaper version then you can definitely go and get that i love the amelia olivia beauty cop list um beauty crop spray i definitely have used that one for ages before i even tried this one to realize that um oh yeah they are like pretty much the exact same thing but i believe the ingredients and everything is very this very much the same it's really really nice if you want to delve into charlotte tilbury and you want that charlotte tilbury kind of makeup that i don't think you're wasting your money by buying this but i definitely do think there are cheaper alternatives like the beauty cop one and don't kill me but i find that there's not loads of charlotte tilbury products that i actually think are incredible sometimes i'm kind of a little bit like i'm not really quite sure what this product does but i don't feel like that with this ah don't kill me <laughs> i do love charlotte tilbury and i love like the brands and everything and i do feel like that is a lot of the time when you're buying charlotte tilbury that that is what you're buying into it's like more the brands as opposed to like the product being worth the price does that make sense don't come for me because i know that her fans are like fans <laughs> also i am a little bit bitter because i did queue for two hours to meet her and then got kicked out of the queue so i'm bitter right but that was my opinion prior to saying that <laughs> That's a story for another day. But I really like this. I think it's really, really nice. I think it's a nice, like, look soft product. And then I also have another Let Tills product. This is the Pillow Talk Easy Illuminator. Now, guys, exactly from what I just said, I am just not a fan of this. Like, there is a couple of shades of this that I've used and I've thought, yeah, I like that. Most of them, I'm not actually quite sure. Like, they dry down too much. And am I going to change my mind? It does, like, oh, I don't know. Like, it does look nice when I put it on. And whenever I use it, I do think, oh, you look nice. But within a few hours of having it on, that that glow just looks a little bit dry. And then it puts me off using it again. Like, right now, I think, that looks gorgeous. Like, you look so nice. That looks glowy and glossy and, like, natural and on the camera it looks really cute but then i just feel like whenever i've used them give it a few hours into my makeup like when i'm out and say you go into the toilet and i just like have a little peek at my makeup i'm a little bit always like mm? looks a bit odd so i'm not sure i actually think there's a lot of dupes of this that are better than these oh no i just got it on my pjs oh, sorry i slagged you off just got it on my pjs ah! oh my god camera's hitting me charlotte 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 darling please I'm really sorry. I said what I said. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You've got to use it. But, I don't know. I wouldn't personally repurchase them again. I like the blushes of these, like the actual blushes. I have, I think the Pillow Talk is the pink one. And I, I really like the blusher of that. Next, super viral products. We've got the Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. Which is a brand new one. I'm not going to dig my finger into that. Because I kind of like keeping them new. They're all new. Yeah. I must have one of these that's gone missing because I've definitely used these multiple times before, but I seem to have three and none of them are open. However, this is the Laneige sleeping mask. This particular one here is, here is the mango one. No, I'm a massive fan of Laneige skincare. I absolutely love it. I think it's incredible. Maybe it's because the use of these is wrong. This is a sleeping lip, lip mask. This is not an everyday lip balm. It's not. You're meant to put it on. You're meant to go to sleep everyday lip balm i don't like these well sorry no that's a lie an everyday lip balm these are definitely not my preference the Laneige also do ones in a squeezy tube is a lip balm love them for the day absolutely love them i think they're amazing but i don't like this for the day and i think the use of these makes me not like it 
Because what people actually use it for, I, I wouldn't use it for. But what it's actually meant for, I really like it and I would use it for. Does that make sense? For lip combo, I got my Refi lip liner. This one is the shade Fawn. I have gone through many of these lip liners. Let me hush a sec while I do this. Okay, so I think she's gorgeous. I've gone through many of these. I personally do have to use the other side. I wish that it was possible that we could just buy this other side because it does you it does work on other lip liners because genuinely just nothing lasts on my lips these definitely do last are expensive and you obviously do go through quite a lot of lip liner the thing that i would say is the thing that you have to put on top to make it set it, you do have to leave it on for a very long time to let it set before you can then put something else on top otherwise it makes that the thing weird whatever you put on top because it like mixes together but it's not ideal for filming with or for being last minute with or if you're out and you need to top it up with if you use the other side because I've got to sit like this for quite a bit before I can then put my gloss on so if I'm filming I can't then put this on does that make sense oh sorry I'm really slagging I'm really slagging it off I'm just saying the cons to it but I do really really like these I definitely think they're worth it last product that I are going in with is this this is the NYX fat lip oil you know I've not used these in a hot minute because I've been like trying and testing other things but these are so good these are so good this is specifically the shade Miss Call I love Miss Call and Supermodel they're like my two favorite shades but these are so nice smell gorgeous it's super easy to pick up because they are NYX you can get them boots super drug like anyway we actually have some christmas sets at the minute that have these in and they're on the three for two as well and you get like a few in the pack they don't feel sticky they feel nice and thin but also they're giving me the color gorgeous so yeah here is my finished look i hope you guys enjoyed watching i'm not going to put any mascara on because if you can see my eyes are a little bit a little bit like at the minute and i don't want to make them any worse and i hope that this was helpful if you have any other products that you want me to do reviews on or give you my thoughts on then please let me know because we can do another similar video like this but with your guys's request don't forget to like and comment and share and if you're not if you don't have a youtube account and you're not subscribed then please subscribe it would mean quite a lot to me thank you all so much bye